new adventure today. I'm hiking the High Sierra Trail, which is in Sequoia National Forest, uh, National Park actually. And it basically goes um, west to east, straight across the park. So I'm going to be going over the mountains, uh, basically to the other side, to the east side of the Sierra, and then going down the other side of Mount Whitney, which is um, the highest peak in the continental United States. So starting at Crescent Meadow, um, this is kind of a, a touristy part, obviously, because it's paved, um, but uh, should be getting to the, the other part of the trail, <laughs> hopefully pretty soon. Uh, getting a late start on it today, it is uh, after 3 p.m., so we'll see how far I can get. Just uh, quickly pointed out, that's Crescent Meadow itself, where the trailhead gets its name. And, uh, it's, uh, not too crowded right now. Uh, there are still quite a few people here behind me, but this is a pretty trail to do, just, uh, if you're coming and day hiking in the park. Not so, lots of nice ferns and big pine trees with mosses and, um, Near the parking lot, you still have some of the actual sequoias. So cool. <laughs> have a uh, sign. And this is where I break off. High Sierra Trail. This way. A little further on the trail right now, I just came upon a fantastic view. So that's looking back at Moro Rock. Uh, which you can actually climb to. They've got stairs and railings you can use. I think that's the Kauia River down there. Um, it's a little hazy, but um, in the southern part of the park, the Horse Creek fire is burning. And um, as of this morning, it was 0% contained. <laughs> so there's smoke from that. There's probably smoke from the uh, Ferguson fire up, uh, up near Yosemite, and that one's pretty big and it's far north but like it's pushing a lot of smoke into the area and then uh at the end of the trail there's a fire in the foothills of Mount Whitney so um vistas are kind of going to be a little washed out but they're still pretty impressive and if I have this for sunset it's going to be probably even more impressive um from the map it kind of looks like I'm just going to be walking this traverse for a while so um, hopefully I will continue to get those good views. In front of me, where those, uh, thunderstorms are, is, uh, basically the direction I'm headed. I'm headed for the Great Western Divide. I'm hoping to get through, uh, most of that divide without thunderstorms, but, uh, this is the time of year where they just kind of come in the afternoon. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm not in one right now. Um, but uh, I'll have to deal with that uh, if and when it comes. But uh, that's a, it's a gorgeous area where I'm headed. And uh, this probably isn't translating to the cell phone camera right now, but this is a beautiful, beautiful section of trail. It's uh, got the pine trees and the boulders and the ferns. And I wish I could uh, transmit the smell because the smell is awesome. It's that nice, um, uh, California pine forest smell. It just smells so good and so fresh. Um, but, uh, headed towards the thunderstorms and hoping not to get hit with them today. Yep. I'd say this is a pretty nice trail. Uh, the problem with the Sierra, though, is you want to whip your phone and your camera out around every corner. I'm about three miles in, and I came across my first uh, nice creek drainage. There's a little waterfall up here, and then uh, there's another one you can't see down there. But good water flow, nice and clear. Um, I don't need any water now, but it's uh, and it's easy to cross too. But it's good to know that these drainages are still flowing for when I do need to fill up with water. I don't anticipate water to be an issue um, too much on this trail. So, got some nice water drainage and some nice views still. 
And just another pretty sight along the trail. We got these nice wild flowers there. We got this nice little waterfall up here. And then we got this little stream that crosses the trail, just surrounded by flowers. And it leads out to that view. I kind of like the Sierra. <laughs> this is a really nice mountain range. And the High Sierra Trail's been, uh, been good so far. Passing the first possible campsite at Merton Creek. It's a really pretty creek over all of this granite. Nice flowing water source too. And then uh, nice views out into the valley. But I'm going to keep going. Still going strong at about seven and a half miles in. Uh, got the trail going right next to some uh, some granite. Looking up that way, try not to fall over. Uh, yeah, and then <laughs> this whole trail so far has been uh, views in and out of the trees and views and some wildflowers. But uh, it, it's getting a little darker, so um, you still got those scary looking clouds over there, but they seem to keep getting pushed back uh, the closer I get to them, which is nice. Uh, but you got some of the uh, angled light on the mountaintops right now. Um, so with the haze, I'm not sure what kind of sunset I'm going to get, so uh, just making sure I film this now. And that's looking back to the west where I came. Uh, it's some nice trees and granite in this valley. Standing in the middle of the crossing for Nine Mile Creek. Nice water flow. <laughs> Large volume of water to cross. The trail's over here and then uh, the creek kind of goes out that way. There are campsites here, but I think I have an hour of daylight left. And I'm probably going to try to make it first out of this creek, which has wobbly rocks. And then um, to the backpacker this campsite, a little over two miles down. Um, I'm going to grab some water here first, but I think I'm going for it. There's too many mosquitoes here anyway. I saw a bear. There's a bear. <sighs> He's way in the bushes now. There was definitely a bear right next to the trail. It was a small bear. I'm just hoping it's not a baby bear. <sighs> I can hear him around in there. Probably not on the video. But, uh, in those bushes, there's a bear. <laughs> that was surprising. Okay, so I'm less than a mile to Bear Paw Camp. Um, but I'm losing light. The sky's turning color, so, uh, just gonna maybe end the filming day for the day now, unless there's still visible light when I get there. Um, Bear Paw Camp, there's two. There's two things to it. There's um, kind of the hoity toity tent cabin, backcountry tent cabin uh, with concessions. And then there's the backpackers camp. And, you know, non ballers like me are going to go to the backpackers camp. But it's, uh, it's a little over 11 miles um, from the trailhead, which, considering how late I started today, I, I'm pretty happy about. Um, so I'm going to be spending the night at Bear Paw, and then tomorrow I need to get up fairly early and see if I can get over Kauia Gap before, um, uh, before the afternoon thunderstorms will probably hit. So Kauia Gap is over 10,000 feet, you know, not a good place to be in thunderstorms. It's still going to be high up, but... I just like to get past that point. So, ah, that's tomorrow. And that's the best view I have of the sunset right now. It's through trees, but it's getting kind of pink. And then I gotta go up the trail. Uh, but again, unless I get there pretty quickly, that's it for today.